you know, people accept things um, as absolutely true, but never really think to themselves, could I be wrong about that or could this position be incorrect? Because they base their logical argument on a premise. Um, and this is this is this is the nature of people when they get orthodox about something they they get focused on the premise but do they ever or the, are they free enough to ask themselves could this premise that i built my belief on be wrong and this is hard cuz people don't do this this is why people they get, they get fearful because they're afraid that other people will be led astray when somebody doesn't agree with their point of view or position or with their premise. And this is, this is intolerance. So how do you deal with it? How do you deal with people who are intolerant to free thinking? Well, the answer isn't shutting them up. Okay, that's not... That, all, that, all that creates is, is um, more fear. And, it, and, and nobody will ever find the truth that way. So how do you deal with it? Well, there's, there's a verse in the Bible. It, it, it says, be able to give it an answer for what you believe. The thing is, is that you should not let or stifle anybody's speech. What you should be able to do is articulate and debate, but not, not unfairly. You should be able to listen to the other person's point of view. And then when you've listened to it, you should be able to understand it. I don't, I'm not talking about half listening. This is what people, oh, I listen to your argument and ba 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 ba. And that's it. That's not listening to an argument. What that's doing is half listening and saying, well, I've got an answer to that. And then when the person comes up and gives you resistance to your argument, oh, no, 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 I'm stuffing it down your throat. But, 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 no, 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 I'm stuffing it down your throat. This is the truth. No, I've given you my answer, and, 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 and what you're being is you're being proud, and you're being arrogant here, and you need to sit and learn of submission to me. Have you gotten this before? Wait a minute, did you listen to it? No, 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 no. It says this, and this is what it is. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the back and forth here? I've looked at your point of view, you looked at mine, but you've given me your three proof texts that don't, that don't hold water, and now yours have to be, st st I'm going to stick, your, you're going to stick yours down my throat? See, this is, this is what, wouldn't it be better to, 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 and this is what happened between me and a friend of mine, me, me, me and Brother Luke. We disagreed on an issue, but we spoke about it for over a year. I didn't stuff anything down Luke's throat, and Luke didn't stuff anything down my throat. I actually tolerated and, and, and was open to listen to his, his reasoning for his point of view. And it, it wasn't a, a half an hour debate. It was a year-long process. After we would have our discussions, he would go back, and he would look over the scriptures, and he would, he would, he would search out uh, the scriptures to see if, see if what I was saying was correct. And if Luke said something to me, I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Let me just kind of look at the, the logic behind that. And this is my point of view. And so, so free thinking allows other people to think other things and then, and then puts, puts forth their opinion on it, but it never condemns any, anybody for believing something different. You see, that's, that's free thinking. And when other people tell you that, oh, well, he's a wolf, don't listen to him, because he's telling you to think for yourself. Okay? And they're telling you, no, you have to think this orthodox way. Because of this, this, that, the other thing. And we haven't proven or really tested or let anybody really ask us any questions about it. Just a couple questions and then we stuffed it down their throat. You see, that's not free thinking. And so, really the answer to all this what's going on on YouTube is not, not getting fearful and then trying to say, well, this person, well, let me point this person's terrible teaching out and that person's terrible teaching out. Because I guarantee you, everybody will be dividing over so many different issues because nobody agrees on anything. Before anything, you need to find out what you have common ground on. And then if you disagree, you need to learn how to do it in a nice way. 
Okay, this is this is this is not uh, nobody's sitting here shoving anybody else's beliefs down down anybody else's throat. When when discussion is supposed to happen, it's supposed to have happened in a cordial way. But then as soon as somebody divides with you, you know what you say? Well, they're a divider and see, they're arguers and I'm going to stuff it down your throat. And it's like, but why don't you put up a mirror because you're the one that's dividing. You're the one that's intolerant, not the other person who you say is dividing. You see, it's, it's kind of funny how, how the, kettle, the, 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 the kettle is trying to call you black, but all you are is a mirror. They're looking at themselves. The mirror doesn't have any color. It's very funny how they're, they're, they're sitting here calling you what they are. These people that make these attack videos on each other's points of view and, and actually insult other people's characters and tell you everybody's a wolf, you know, you don't have to listen to everybody else, but you know what? Maybe it would be good to actually listen to the others, uh, other people's point of view and pick out the things that you agree, w agree with and the things that you don't agree with. Ask yourself the question, well, could I be wrong on that? And if you don't agree with them, you don't have to be nasty. You can go, well, I don't agree with that point of view. You know, I mean, I put, I, I watch what James White says about uh, about things, but that doesn't mean I believe in everything James White says. I could listen to Piper, MacArthur. I could listen to all these people. All these, I could listen to anybody, and I can pick out things where they're right, and I can pick out things where they're wrong because I'm able to think for myself. And I need to, and you people and everybody needs to be able to give people the benefit of doubt that don't, nobody's stupid. And if they are, that's their problem. That's not yours. You cannot be the thought police. You cannot tell people, you cannot tell people not to think. You cannot tell people what to think. You can give your point of view uh, uh, to people and then let people decide for themselves. And I really think that that is what is happening. I have had tons of people make all their attacks at me. And I never had a discourse. They never were, were, were willing to listen to what I had to say. And they'd say, well, you're not listening to me. Well, I listened to your two or three proof texts. But then when I turned around and I refuted them, then you got all nasty. You didn't even look at my refutes. You just said, well, I gave them the truth. And, and since they're not listening, they're proud. No. The truth is, is that you aren't listening. And you're the one that's been proud. You see... Really, if you're if you're truly a humble person, you're able to have a discourse and be and be patient with people and, and and gentle with people, and you know it might take a long time before somebody else that's not seeing the correct point of view will see the point of view, you know. And and uh, if you think that I'm one of these people that needs to be corrected, and of course Mitch is, you know, he's a brother, but he's just he's confused. Okay, well, well, okay. I've asked you several times. Okay, well, show me your point of view. I'm uh, see. The problem is, is that I'm willing actually to listen to somebody, but nobody's listening to me. And then people are saying, "Well, Mitch is confused." I said, "Well, I would say that the confused one would be the one that's shutting off, shutting their ears off, and saying, no, no he's confused and he's arrogant.'" And, and I'm like, I'm shaking my head, going, "Excuse me, are you really looking at yourself in the mirror?" God bless.